What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with brand new WWE action figure news for you guys. Diving into a brand new legend set. We have WWE Elite Legend Series 22 which is Target exclusive. And then we do have a couple ultimates to take a look at which should be very interesting for sure. But I would also like to know what your thoughts are on all of the stuff down in the comment section below. And we can go back and forth in the comment section below man. But with that being said let's go ahead and dive into it. Starting out first with WWE Elite Legend Series 22. So starting things off first man we do have our our new Hulk Hogan figure, which is a look that is pretty much his New Japan look, if I'm not mistaken. This is his New Japan look, or the Ichiban Hogan. And if you guys were unaware, Ichiban actually means number one in Japanese, so I think that's pretty cool. But we do have two different versions here. We have the regular edition, which I think is in the gray boots with the t-shirt, and then the blue version, or the red knee pads with the blue or the light blue boots, is the Chase variant version. Now, I like this f figure, you know. This is not when he had his dark tan, so this is actually pretty accurate to the source material. The glasses look good. I like this head sculpt. I like the, you know, the added hair. This is in the early 80s, I'm pretty sure. And I like this look for Hogan. I like the sunglasses. And one thing we have to talk about is this brand new packaging for the Elite Legends figures. Now, this new packaging is actually going to start in Legends Series 21, which is going to be the Andre the Giant set with Jimmy Hart and Iron Sheik and a different version of Hogan. So that'll be really awesome. I'm actually very much looking forward to this packaging. I love the packaging. It's kind of a mix of the old school packaging from, you know, 2010 or so. And now, you know, kind of mixing it together with the new. I just hope that the durability of the boxes is better, but I'm not going to hold my breath on that one. But I really do like this Legends packaging. Very clean and modern while mixing together the, the days of old. I don't know. It's just a very nice blend of two different eras. It's, it's very cool. I like the packaging a whole lot. But you have a shot of the back of the packaging there with the rest of the figures. Very good looking Hogan. I'm actually excited for this figure. I, I think Hogan's figures are very poseable. And while this isn't, you know, the most sought after look of Hogan, at least it's a different take. And, you know, they're trying to pump out every single Hogan possible. And I could see this this figure possibly shell forming. I'm actually worried about most of this set besides maybe one figure, but we'll see about that. You know, you can never really judge it. We talk about it all the time. The WWE action figure aftermarket and how things are going to shell form is somewhat unpredictable, so we'll see about that. But I'm excited for the Hogan figure. I like that we get two different ones here, and you know they're going to pump out Hogan. I have no issues with it. I think both of them are quality, and that's really where I'm at. If they keep pumping out the same character, as long as the figures are quality, I, I, I don't really have a, a super big issue with it. You know, I do like to see new faces in the line and things of that nature, but I like to see steady improvement. I like to see new looks of characters, so I'm all aboard, you know, collecting the same guy, so we'll have to see about all of those different things, man, but let's get into the next figure, which is going to be Captain Lou, and this figure just looks so good, man. What a great looking figure. I can already see a lot of people using this. One thing that I really like about this figure is they are using the Paul Bearer Elite 106 crotch and legs, which if you missed our Elite 106 Paul Bearer review, that figure has immaculate movement, so I can already tell that this figure is going to be super poseable. I can just tell. And it's funny because I'm pretty sure this is a new torso mold as well. Don't think we've seen this torso mold before. They are giving him the super jacked arms, which I still am not the biggest fan of. I'm pretty sure this is like the ringside exclusive three pack, three faces of Foley arms. You know, just those super jacked arms. They need to have a softer arm mold, man. I mean, Captain Lou, I don't think he was out here setting the world on fire with bench press and just like it's impossible for your arms to be that cut with, you know, the body fat percentage that this man had. Like that just doesn't make sense to me. You wouldn't have like super veiny, bulging, like cut deltoids and arms. And Captain Lou didn't have that, so I don't I, I don't know about all that, but I still like the figure a lot, and you know, at least the shirt covers it and stuff. We have this cloth goods going on. I don't really care for when they do the hard rubber over the cloth, but I guess, you know, we'll just have to get over that, but the head sculpt looks really good. I like the Superstars version of Captain Lou. This is a really great looking figure. I'm excited for this figure, and it's a great base for some other stuff. You could do some other things. I like the sneakers. Just a cool figure overall. I, I just can't even believe that we have this coming in the Legends line. It just shows how cool it is to get some of these deep cut figures. I just love when we get new characters. I love the way the beard looks, man. Just how realistic that salt and pepper look is and the tie around it. it just looks so good. So I'm, I'm I'm pretty excited for the Captain Lou figure. Next up in the set, we have a figure that I'm very much worried about when it comes to retail spaces especially. And that is going to be the Muhammad Ali from Elite Series 22 from the Legends set, the Target exclusive here, man. I, a, lot of, a lot of stuff to unpack here with this Muhammad Ali figure, man. First of all, I, let's start off with the positives. Positively, this, I mean, this is still a solid figure from head to toe. I think that it's a great representation of Muhammad Ali. Now, with that being said, and it also looks really good men on card. I don't know what it is about, like, his name, like, that legendary status 
with this packaging with the boxer in the middle there. I don't know. Just it looks really good, mint on card. But nonetheless, the Ultimate Edition, the Ultimate Edition Muhammad Ali figure, the two pack. Now it was 70 bucks or whatever it was. I'm pretty sure I was at San Diego Comic Con. I'm pretty sure that figure never sold out. It was there until the very last second of the very last day of San Diego Comic Con. It never sold out on Mattel Creations. You can still go on Mattel Creations and buy this figure, which is nutty. I mean, you could pretty much go buy the Coliseum collections as well. All three of the Coliseum collections are also available. But however, people didn't even buy the Ultimate Edition. So I'm worried that this figure right here, I mean, it's kind of shown that like, are people going to want this Elite? Now, first of all, the people that bought the Ultimate Edition, they have the Ultimate Edition, which is going to be better than this in terms of all the stuff you get. You get the two pack and everything like that. And it's pretty much identical to the Ultimate Edition. Even though I do like Elite Torsos better, that Ultimate Edition was very solid. It had butterfly joints and all the different stuff. Same robe you're getting here, pretty much the exact same gear. So I worry that this figure is probably probably not going to move too many units. Most Legends waves nowadays have been going to clearance, man. You, you're able to get them for 7, 10, 11 bucks. And so I worry that this Muhammad Ali is going to be a shelf warmer because of those things we stated, man. You have the Ultimate Edition. The people that skip the Ultimate Edition, if they skip the Ultimate, why would they buy the Elite? And I know it's a big price difference. You'd rather probably buy the Elite for 24 than a two-pack Ultimate for 70 Like, I get that. Maybe they grabbed this because they didn't want to spend all that money on a referee. Muhammad Ali as well. I don't know. I just, I, I do not have high hopes for this figure when it turn in terms of movement on the shelves, but we, I guess that remains to be seen. It's still a really good looking figure. I like the, the robe. Like it has a lot of great qualities that stem from that Ultimate Edition figure and the Ultimate Edition was fantastic, but it's Muhammad Ali. I just, I don't know, man. I thought it was a weird San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, even though I like crazy things and outside the box thinking and I like the figure and I like how it moves and all these different things. I just, I don't know. I'm worried about it. You guys, can chime in down in the comment section below. Do you think this is a good put? Like, they have to get the most out of the molds. They have to put this out for business purposes, like trying to stretch out. Like, instead of putting a new character here, they did have to probably, just to fit the budget of the wave, I'm pretty sure they had to put this guy in here, and I know that, I, didn't we have a basic of him canceled not too long ago as well? So, I don't know, man. They're gonna try, I think we even have a Superstars figure of Muhammad Ali coming, so I don't know, man. There, there's just lots of interesting things going on. We'll have to see how this plays out, but what do you guys think? Do you guys think that the Muhammad Ali is gonna shelf him? Do you think it's, I don't know. Are you, are you buying this Muhammad Ali? I'll be buying it to review for you guys, of course. I'm gonna be, you know, of course, buying the full wave to review on the channel, but I don't know. Let me know what you think. And the last figure in our set is going to be the Legend Series 22 Sultan, and this looks so good, man. I love the masked head sculpt. I like all these things going on with this figure. He does have the... I don't think his arms are nearly as jacked as the other ones, or this may be... I can't tell if this is Gargano arms, Elite 105 Gargano. I can't tell from this angle. This may just be the standard arms, but this looks so good. They did a fantastic job on this. I love all the unique molds we're getting here, the arms and the sash. You got the big cape you have the head accessory or the i guess you'd call it like the hat covering here really fun looking figure looks to be very poseable as well which will remain to be seen but it does look like this guy's on ball joints got the sculpted feet in there i can't tell if that's brand new sculpted feet or if that is a repeat of like some xavier woods feet i want to say that's brand new sculpted though so we'll have to see about that pinless joints hopefully not too tight unique sculpted torso i like the braid i like the earrings i mean just a fantastic looking figure i like the wide eye man he's just looking like a beast so excited for this one very excited for this one i love the entrance coat as well deep cut nobody saw this one coming which is awesome and he just looks really good men on card it almost just doesn't even look like a 2023 or 2024 figure which is crazy to even say but doesn't look like a 2024 figure it looks like a 2000 i don't know 12 figure almost like just the packaging combined with this figure it just doesn't look like this would be a figure that we'd be getting in this modern day but it looks so good man so very excited for the legends waves there so so overall, from start to finish, a very interesting set overall. I don't know how it compares to other sets. I am definitely excited. I mean, we have Captain Lou in there. You have the Sultan. Uh, very awesome. Very, very awesome. Looking forward to seeing these at the retail. Of course, this does come after our Legend Series 21. We're going to see Legend Series 21 first featuring Andre, Jimmy Hart, like we touched on. But this is going to be the way following that. I would imagine this is probably going to hit February or March of 2024. I would guess Legend 21 with that Andre the Giant wave with the chase, you know, the yellow and red different pair of Andres. Would imagine that would probably hit like quarter one of 2024, probably January or February. And then this 
this one will follow up that. But that remains to be seen. We'll have to see about all those things, man. But let's get into the Ultimate Edition figure. Now, we have two different Ultimate Edition figures right here. And on these Ultimate Editions, we have the regular edition Yokozuna. Ultimate edition Yokozuna in the black covering or the black waist wrap. And then you have the Chase variant with the white waist wrap. And I don't know, man, I think as good as this figure looks, looks very poseable. You know, it kind of, I mean, it really looks like a bunch of other Yokozunas that we've gotten, but he does have double jointed arms. He's got butterfly joints, which is awesome. It's going to allow him to articulate more. He has a shin cut, which is nice to see. Pretty sure he's always had shin cut, though. Great looking head sculpts. He comes with a championship comes with his robe, comes with the bucket, which we've seen before. I'm all for getting new characters in the Ultimate Edition line. I just worry about this figure at retail space because there have been fantastic Ultimate Editions that have warmed the pegs. The Macho Man Legends Ultimate Edition warmed the pegs. The Rock figure that were that was one of the better figures of the year, one of the better Ultimate Editions of the year has been shelf warming, so I fear that this figure is possibly going to shelf warm. Now, I guess it just depends on how many units and whatnot, but we will have to see about all those things, but I'm all for getting new guys in the Ultimate Ultimate Edition line. I know a lot of people are wanting new faces in the Ultimate Edition line, but are those people actually going to spend their money? We will have to see about that, man. But it's a great looking figure. I'm definitely going to pick it up to review on the channel. And then you just have that subtle change of the white belt compared to the black belt. I don't know, man. We're just going to have to... I, I wonder what even goes into that. Like, why? I guess maybe because they know they're not going to get another Ultimate Yokozuna out there. So they're going with two different versions here. I'm not entirely sure. But the head sculpts look good. The figure looks good overall. And I know it's going to be a hefty package. And it looks good. It's a good looking figure. It's just I worry about those retail things. But I guess it doesn't... I don't have stake in the game. I mean, I want these figures to be successful. It's just something that I think about. Like, I immediately think about these things. When I see these figures, I'm like, oh, man. Is that going to be able to move units? That's just something that automatically pops in my head. But... At the end of the day, after the Ultimate Edition Yokozuna. But the last thing we have here, I think, are called Knuckle Crunchers. It's these little figures here. We saw some at Comic-Con. We have a new wave coming here. You have Cody Rhodes, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Sheamus, and Bobby Lashley. Really fun-looking figures, you know. We saw these. We saw figures that are similar, but I think these look pretty good. You get some cool accessories and different things. Figures look cool. I really like the Austin. I like the Cody. I don't know. If I found these figures for a good price, and I saw all of them up next to each other, I might buy these for a little mini display. They look really awesome. I really really do love the Stone Cold Steve Austin figure. I think it looks awesome with the jorts. Really need an updated elite of that. You could say the 60th anniversary four pack was updated, but that's not, man. That figure was not very good, and it was, I, I just did not like that figure. Lots of different things there, but nonetheless, that is pretty much all of our WWE action figure news for today, man. Covering some new Target exclusive legend stuff and a couple ultimates and different things of that nature. I'd love to know down in the comment section below what you think of all these things. Do you think that the Muhammad Ali elite is going to shelf form? Do you think that the Yokozuna ultimate is going to shelf form? I would like to know all of those things down in the comment section below but i'm excited for all of these figures here ready to get them in hand and see what's going on with them compare them to their different figures and get the you know get these new figures in here man but that is pretty much going to wrap up all of the wwe action figure news for today man hope you guys did enjoy I'd love to know your thoughts on all of these things down in the comment section below huge shout out to our patron members of the mdt youtube channel always appreciate all of you fellas for everything you do for me on a monthly basis thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy leave me all of your thoughts down below follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i will see you guys in the next video have a blessed one and I'll catch you later.